Hello everyone and welcome back to another contrast paint video and today for you we have I Am Groot. That's apparently his real name because under his name where it just says Groot on a stat card it does say I Am Groot. I don't know. Either way, painted in Gracier base coat, get that out of the way. Also usually I spray paint larger models in uh, the base coat for contrast so it looks smoother. In Groot's case I could not because my spray ran out and haven't had time to order any yet. I'm going to wait till I need a bit more paint supply. But the point being, for him I don't think it matters because it might add more texture having a little bit of the, the less smooth coating that a spray would give. Just applied it with a, a thick brush from this pot right here. So Groot is obviously just largely one colour. He is made of wood. He has a couple of standout points, like he has a couple of like polyps, polyps on his chest that we can use. But the main thing here is, we're going to use contrast obviously, we're going to use mostly contrast shape, it's snake bite, not shake bite. Snake bite leather over the entirety of him, but then we're going to add on to that and hopefully make a little bit of a difference. I can give you a sneak peek at what we're doing because I already tested it on the part of Groot that is visible on Rocket Raccoon, which hopefully I can get in good light over here ish. So that is snake bite leather with a little bit of agrax in the shadow and then also a dry brushing of Mornfang Brown, I believe it's called, but I'll double check when we get to that stage on Groot himself. So that's like the synergy. It's He's poking his tree in and then poking that out there to let Rocket get some height. So that was a little test for what I plan to do. There's no like polyp bits on that, but we're going to do those in yellow. Maybe do a little bit of streaking to try and accentuate the lines. Also, just for no reason, I can give you a quick sneak peek at what just got finished before I started this. Got Star-Lord done. But you'll get a better look at him in the next painting update video. So that's just that's a little sneak peek. Something else that got finished. We're here to focus on Groot. So the first time skip will indeed be the snake bite leather. Then we're not going to do another time skip. We're just going to do kind of like a phase by phase of building up the brown with the, the, with the wash and the, the dry brushing layer just to show you how much of a difference it makes and whether or not you want to emulate that if you want. Then we'll do another time skip for contrast basing the, the bottom there with the Basilicanum Grey. And then the finishing touches, it'll be picking out his eyes, his mouth, and then the polyps, as mentioned. I think there's meant to be one on his hand there as well. I, I think, I'm not sure. I'm actually very surprised at how big this miniature is. I, I did not realise Groot was so tall. But anyway, it is time to get started, so let's do just that. So a few minutes of painting and a lot of drying time later, although still a bit more to go, Groot is based in the snake bite leather contrast. So now once it's dried fully, it's going to be time for a dry brushing of Mornfang Brown and then a little bit of Agrax Earthshade in some of the deeper cracks that the contrast didn't pull as much as I would have liked. So rather than going to another time skip, what we're going to do, as previously said, we're just going to do a fade out, fade in to this step being done to see if you can notice a lot of a difference. And there should be a difference because if I pull back Rocket again here for a second, you'll notice that like the wood that he is standing on does not match Groot currently, despite the fact that it was based in the same uh, contrast paint. So that's what we're aiming for. And then we'll worry about the, the smaller details and whatnot, and the base and tidying the base so that the grey can go on because you can see it's, it's leaked a little bit on the base. We'll worry about that after. So we'll do a cut in with these steps done. This is the dry brush I'm using. It's just, I think it's classed as a medium. No, it's classed as a small, a small dry brush. So let's see what happens. 
So another check in with that done. Also use Grace here to tidy up the base and also prepare for the glowy bits on him, which I don't know if he's meant to have them, but hey, I'm looking at the box art up here. He has glowy yellowish orange bits there, so we're gonna do them. So that's why those stripes are there, it's kind of like energy flowing through him. Also just used some to pick out, pick out his teeth and then did one little dollop of Black Templar just to make his mouth black because that's what color it is and a little bit of dots for his eyes as well, but I'm not sure how well that's picked up. So in the final proper time skip, we're going to do Iandin Yellow on the parts I've marked on his chest and then it's going to be Basilicanum Grey on the base and then we'll do a very quick check in before the finish or we might just go straight to the finish because I think the only other thing to do after that is uh, use bad and black around the base. Either way though we do have one more time skip so let's get that done and then we can decide if it'll be better or worse before the, the touch ups. Let's see. And so after those little touch-ups we have what I'm going to call the finished Groot. Um, the Yandin didn't look nearly as deep enough as I wanted so I just quickly put a little bit of flash gets yellow over the, the top just to make it look a little bit brighter. And uh, you can tell it's there but I, I, I lost like the thin tracks which I would have liked to stay in. Could technically just use like an actual orange to pick them out like um, maybe some... That's too bright an orange. Maybe some like Bugman Glow mixed with Contrast Yellow, something like that. But we're going to call Groot done as is, so we'll get ready for your hashtag 360 ghetto spin as we turn here. From no paint to looking good enough on the tabletop, not the best it possibly could obviously, in like 15 minutes of painting, more or less. Not including drying time, obviously drying time takes a while with Contrast. But uh, yeah, that's, that's about it. Groot is obviously fairly basic because he's largely just one colour. Um, you don't need to add the more and fine brown dry brush if you think he looked better without. But now he should match Rocket more or less. So it looks like he's helping him out. The colour scheme looks the same. And then in the background we have Star-Lord who is just winging it as he wants to do. So that is wave one of the Guardians done. Again, you'll see a closer look at those two once I do the next Getting Stuff Painted update. This was mostly about tree here. And he has been done. His face was good enough, I think. I apologize for the lighting as per usual as well. The sun does not know where it wants to sit behind me. Anything else you could have done to touch it up? I was considering maybe putting some like grass tufts on the base. I wouldn't usually do that because they're supposed to be fighting in cities, but I'm imagining Groot's like healing everybody. But who knows. Also, I hear a dog barking outside and my dog might start at any second. So I think we're gonna end this here. Next painting video will be a god tier painting video. We're going to be painting a grim gut. It's kind of similar in the sense that it will be largely one colour, but it's going to be interesting because it's going to be a horrible mound of flesh. And if that doesn't sound appealing, that would explain a lot of things. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. See you in the future for more Crisis Protocol as well. Stay safe out there, and ta-ta for now.